بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل کیلکولس اینڈ میتھمیٹکس لرننگ ان دا پریویس ویڈیو آئی اسٹارٹڈ ان کیمسٹری وتھ ایکسرسائز نمبر 5.2 ریلیونٹ وتھ چیپٹر نمبر 5 ایپلیکیشن اف فیکٹرز ان ار سکوئر اینڈ ار پاور 3 سو ان ٹوڈے ویڈیو آئی ول سال کویسچنز نمبر 13 کویسچن نمبر 14 اپ ٹو کویسچن نمبر 21 Uh, up to question number 22 23 because in this exercise 5.2 there are total 23 questions so in the previous video i already solved the first 12 question and the remaining question inshallah we solve in this video so let's move toward our question number 13 up exercise 5.2 lecture number 9 bs linear algebra by baron coleman and david r hill 8 edition question number 13 tells that are the points 2 3 minus 2 4 minus 2 minus 3 and 0 8 minus 1 lie on the same line so let's suppose i consider this is p1 this is p2 and this is a p3 so first i find the position vector p1 p2 so position vector is actually final minus initial so 4 minus 2 gives us 2 minus 2 minus 3 gives us minus 5 minus 3 minus 3 to minus 2 will give us 1 now i find the position vector of p2 p3 so p2 p3 will actually final minus initial so 0 will become minus 4 8 minus into minus 2 gives us 10 and minus 1 into minus into minus 3 will give us 2 now i find the position vector p1 p3 so 0 minus 2 minus 2 8 minus 3 gives us 5 minus 1 into minus into minus 2 will give us 1 now i find the magnitude of p1 p2 so it become 2 square plus minus pi square plus minus 1 square it will give the square root of 30 now finding the magnitude of p2 p3 so it become minus 4 square plus 10 square and plus 2 square gives us under root of 120 and further simplification it will give us 2 times up under root of 30 now i find the magnitude of p1 p3 so minus 2 square plus pi square plus 1 square it will give us under root 30 now from over here p1 p2 plus p1 p3 is equal to p2 p3 so the addition of this gives us the another line p2 p another position vector p2 p3 it means that thus the given points lie on the same line now move to the next question question number 14 it is same just like question number 13 the statement is same are the points minus 2 pole 2 3 pi 1 and pole 2 minus 1 lie on the same line so the methodology is same this is let's suppose p1 this is p2 this is p3 so pass find the position vector p1 p2 so it becomes 3 minus into minus 2 pi 5 minus 4 1 1 minus 2 gives us minus 1 now find position vector p1 p3 so 4 minus into minus 2 6 2 minus 4 minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 gives us minus 3 then find position vector p2 and p3 so 4 minus 3 1 2 minus 5 minus 3 minus 1 into minus 1 gives us minus 2 now p2 p1 plus p1 p3 should be equal to p2 p3 so taking the magnitude of p1 p2 so it become pi square plus 1 square minus 1 square gives us root 27 p1 p3 magnitude will give us 7 and p2 p3 magnitude will give us under root 14 now from over here p1 p2 is under root 27 which can be written as 3 square root 3 plus p1 p3 is actually 7 is equal to p2 p3 is root 14 so from over here we conclude that this both sides are not equal it means the given three point does not lie on the same line now move to the next question question number 15 now find the point of intersection of the line x is equal to 2 minus 3 s y is equal to 3 plus 2 s z is equal to 4 plus 2 s and x is equal to pi plus 2 t y is equal to 1 minus 3 t z is equal to 2 2 plus t we, we are actually find the value of x y z that will be our point of intersection so from over here x is equal to 2 minus 3s so put over here it become 2 minus 3s is equal to pi plus 2 t put y is equal to 3 plus 2s over here it become 3 plus 2 s is equal to 1 minus 3 t Put z is equal to 4 plus t s over here become 4 plus 2s is equal to 2 plus t. So over here the linear system will be generated re rewriting this equation in standard form. So shift 2t on this side it become minus 3s minus 2t and shift 2 on that side it become uh, is equal to 3. Now from over here 3 system will be generated. So the augmented matrix will be minus 3 minus 2, 2, 3. 2 minus 1 will be 3 minus 2 and minus 2. Now by doing some operation, uh, so it will give us a 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now we are here, this is actually the value of S from the augmented matrix. This is S, this is T. So my S multiply 1 gives us minus 1. So S is negative 1. This is S, this is T. So my T will be actually 0. So by putting T0 over here in these three equations, it will give us X is equal to pi O, Y is equal to 1, and Z is equal to 2. So it means my point T is pi 1 and 2. Now move to the next question, question number 16, which of the following pair of lines are perpendicular? So this is part number A, this is part number B. So over here uh, we have x is equal to 2 plus 2t, y is equal to minus 3 minus 3t, z is equal to 4 plus 4t is given and x is equal to 2 plus t, y is equal to 4 minus t and z is equal to 5 minus t. This is actually the symmetric line equation. So over here we have x naught plus a t. So this a will represent i component which is 2. It is equal to y is equal to y naught plus bt. So the, this b represent the vector along j component. So this is minus 3. We will write along component uh, along j component minus 3. This is along k component. We will write 4 per u1. This is u1 is a u1 uh, plus vector. Now per u2 we will write 1 minus 1 and minus 1. So 1 minus 1 and minus 1. So u1 and u2 both the vector will be perpendicular if this satisfy the condition the dot product of these two vector is equal to 0. So over here 2 multiply 1 gives us 2. Minus 3 into minus 1 gives us 3. And 4 into minus 1 gives us minus 4. It gives 1 
1 is not equal to 0. It means these lines are not perpendicular. Same for the part number B. U1 will be minus 1, 1, 2. And uh, U2 will be 2 minus 2 into 2. Now by multiplying, uh, it will become minus 1 into 2 minus 2. 1 into minus 2 minus 2. And 2 into 2 gives us 4. It gives us 0. It means these lines are perpendicular because their dot product is equal to 0. Now move to the next question, question number 17, it tells that show that the following parametric equations define the same line. These three parametric equations and these three parametric equations is given. So move to solution, u1 will be actually the uh, vector along uh, x, x, x component, y component and z, uh, z component. So x component is 3, y component is minus 2 and z component is 4 for the vector number plus u1. Now let's suppose we consider u2 for this uh, equation and these lines. Uh, so my u2 will be minus 9, 6 and uh, minus 12. Now take minus 3 common, we left with 3 minus 2 power inside and this 3 minus 2 power is actually u1. So it means u2 is minus 3 times of u1. Now point P, 2, 3, minus 1. This is 2, 3, minus 1. Is that suppose P point belongs to this L1. So to show that lines are same, we will try to solve the following equations for T. Now from over here, we have minus 1, minus 9, T is equal to X. So minus 1, minus 9, T is equal to X is actually this value. This is X, this is Y, this is Z. So I consider X2 over here, so it will give us T minus 1 by 3. From over here, pi of plus 60 is equal to Y. Over here we have y, so my y is 3 over here. By solving, it will give us t is equal to minus 1 over 3. Same for the third equation in line, it will give us minus 1 by 3. So by plugging the value of t in each of these three equations, it will satisfy the condition and equation. So it means that both L1 and L2 are the same line. Now move to the next question. Question number 18. Now find parametric equations of the line passing through the point 3 minus 1 minus 3 and perpendicular to the line passing through the point 3 minus 2, 4 and 0, 3, 5 will be. So move to the solution, let's suppose this is I considered as a P, let's suppose I consider this as a Q and this point is R. So the first point is perpendicular to the other two points. So, so the line has the following tangent vector L is equal to Q R. This is Q and this is R. So its position vector will be 0 minus 3 minus 3. 3 minus into minus 2 gives us 5 and 5 minus 4 will give us 1. This is the position vector Q R is equal to N. Let I consider another vector V is equal to ABC. So the desired line is perpendicular to this given line if their dot product is 0. This vector and this vector. So it becomes minus 3A plus pi OB and plus C is equal to 0. Now let's suppose I uh, give some random values to this A, B and C. So let's suppose I consider A2, B3 and C minus 9. So by putting over here it gives 0 is equal to 0. It means the condition is satisfied but A is equal to 2, B is equal to 3 and C is equal to 9. So the required parametric equation will be x is equal to x plus plus a t, y is equal to n plus plus v t, z is equal to z naught plus c t. Now my p naught is given. This is let's suppose p naught 3 minus 1 minus a. So this is x naught, this is y naught, this is z naught. So put x naught, y naught and z naught 3 y naught minus 1 and z naught is a minus 3. Now my a, b, c is given 2, 3 and minus 9. So put 2, 3 and minus 9. So these are the required parametric equation while the condition will be minus infinity less than t less than infinity. Now move to the next question, question number 18, find equation of plane passing through the point minus 2, 3, 4 and perpendicular to the line passing through the point 4, minus 2, 5 and 0, 2, 4. Let's suppose I consider this as a P point, I consider this as a Q point and this as a R point. So the line has following tangent vector n is equal to Q R. We will find the position vector of this Q and R. So it will be 0 minus 4 minus 4. 2 minus into minus 2 gives us 4. 4 minus 5 will give us minus 1. Because the position vector is actually pan and minus initial. So over here since this q or this n is parallel to the given line. So it will satisfy the equation a into x minus x naught plus b into y minus y naught plus a into z minus z naught is equal to 0. This is actually my v naught which is minus 2, 3, 4. So this is x naught, this is y naught, this is z naught. So put x naught minus 2 over here become plus 2 and y naught is 3 so it become minus 3 and over here z naught is supposed to become minus 4 this z y and x will come down as it is now what is my a b c this is actually a this is b and this is c so a is minus 4 b is 4 and c is minus 1 now by doing simplification it will give us the required equation of plane minus 4x plus 4y minus z minus 16 is equal to 0 now move to the next question, question number 20, find the point of intersection of the line x is equal to 2 minus 3t, y is equal to 4 plus 2t, z is equal to 3 minus pi ot and plane 2x plus 3y plus 4z plus 8 is equal to 0. So taking this plane 2x plus 3y plus 4z plus 8 is equal to 0. So it become 2 time of x, x is 2 minus 3t plus 3 time of y, y is 4 plus 2t plus 4 time of z, z is 3 minus pi ot plus 8 is equal to 0. Now by simplification it will give us the required value of t is equal to 9 by 5. Now by putting 9 by 5 over here, so it becomes x is equal to 2 minus 3 time of 
t is 9 by 5 it will give us minus 17 by 5 now my y will be equal to 4 plus 2 time of t t is 9 by 5 so by putting it will give us y is equal to 38 by 5 now z is equal to 3 minus 5 time of t t is 9 by 5 5 can start with 5 we left with 3 minus 9 gives us minus 6 it means the required point of intersection is x minus 17 by 5 y 38 by 5 and z is a minus 6 now move to the next question, question 21, oh, find flan containing the lines x is equal to 3 plus 2t, y is equal to 4 minus 3t, z is equal to pi o plus 4t and x is equal to 1 minus 2t, y is equal to 7 plus 4t, z is equal to 1 minus 3t. So move to the solution, let's suppose I consider oh, this 3, 4, 5 as a p point and this 1, 7, 1 as a k point. Now I considered uh, for this uh, symmetric equation a uh, vector, let's suppose it is represented by u, so it will be 2 minus 3 and 4. And for this symmetric equation, I represent uh, the vector through component v is equal to minus 2, 4 and minus 3. Now, this will be a perpendicular to the both the vector. So, for this, uh, it will be parallel to both the vector. That's why we will use the n is equal to u cross v. So, for u cross v, we will write i, j, k. After this, my u is 2 minus 3, 4 and v is minus 2, 4, minus 3. Now, expand along uh, past row. It will give us n is equal to u cross v is equal to minus 7i minus 2j plus 2k, which can be written in the order fair palm minus 7 minus 2 and 2. Now using the equation n to x minus x naught plus b into y minus y naught plus c into z minus z naught. Now this is actually x naught, this is y naught and this is z naught. So x naught, y naught and z naught is given. Now this is a, b and c. So a, b, c and z naught, x naught, y naught and z naught is given by putting these and plugging these values over here, it will give us uh, the required equation and for the plane minus 7x minus 2y plus 2z plus 19 is equal to 0. Now move to the next question, question number 22. Find plane that passes through the point 2, 4, minus 3 and is parallel to the plane minus 2x plus 4y minus 5z plus 6 is equal to 0. Now our given plane is minus 2x plus 4y minus 5z plus 6 is equal to 0. Comparing with ax plus by plus c plus d is equal to 0. So a is minus 2 b is 4 and c is minus 5. Now our given normal vector is represented by n, a, b, c. So a is minus 2, b is 4 and c is minus 5. So this is a, b and c. Now the required equation of the plane will be a into x minus x naught plus b into y minus y naught plus into z minus z naught is equal to 0. Now a, b, c is given and x naught, y naught, z naught is also given. This is the point x naught, y naught and z naught is given. So by putting x naught, y naught, z naught from over here and by putting a, b, c from over here, it will give us the required equation of the plane minus 2x plus 4y minus 5z minus 27 is equal to 0. Now move to the last question, question number 23, find a line that passes through the point minus 2 pi minus 3 and is perpendicular to the plane 2x minus 3y plus 4z plus 7 is equal to 0 will be. So my given plane is 2x minus 3y plus 4z plus 7 is equal to 0. So this is a is equal to 2 because ax plus by plus z plus d is equal to 0. So a is 2, b is minus 3, c is 4 and d is a 7. Now my n is actually a normal vector which is equal to abc. So 2 minus 3 and 4 is a normal vector. Now from over here I can also find the required plane by using formula n to x minus x naught plus b into y minus y naught plus n to z minus z naught is equal to 0. This is x naught, this is y naught, this is z naught given. And abc is also given from over here. So by putting this it will give us the required plane. And from over here we can find a symmetric line equation x is equal to x naught plus a t, y is equal to y naught plus b t and z is equal to z naught plus c t. x naught y naught and z naught is given and a b c is also given. So this will give us the required parametric equation while the condition is minus infinity less than t less than infinity. So this is the required plane in line and this is the required parametric equations.